Hello, this is Eric Colburn from ericcolburn.com with your AutoCAD Civil 3D for land surveyors video. How to create an alignment from objects in AutoCAD Civil 3D. So what we want to do here is take simple AutoCAD lines and curves, which you can see I've drawn a few in here, and convert those to a Civil 3D object, alignment object. So you know why would you do this first of all you might be working on a proposed road layout on a new subdivision and it's very fast and easy for you to draw the line work for where that alignment is and then you know you can convert that all at once to an alignment to work with for the rest of your project or you might have been given or researched a highway plan or some sort of plan that has a center line or a baseline some sort of stationing and geometry on it and you need to recreate that to work with in your survey and your design and again it's easy to draw simple AutoCAD lines and curves and then once you know you have everything correctly done then convert it to an alignment one thing to do keep in mind is good and this goes back to land surveying 101 just good surveying practice is to make sure that for instance all the curves are tangent to the courses running in and out of those curves you know, creating um, non-tangent curves is probably something that you don't want to do on purpose and quite often we see that in uh, subdivision design where a mistake gets made and an accidental non-tangent curve gets introduced. There are times when you might need to do a non-tangent curve and that's fine but probably most of the time you really want to create lines uh, and curves that are tangent to each other so that the normal math that you use with uh, alignments will, will work properly. So first thing we'll do is we'll go, I'm already on the home tab of the ribbon and you can see on, above the create design is an option for alignment. Click on that and you can choose the create alignment from objects command and if you look at the command line you'll see that that command is actually create alignment entities and you can uh, certainly uh, type that in at the command line too and I'll put that command the create alignment entities command in the show notes for you and then what I'm going to do is just click on each of the line and curves that's going to make up my new alignment hit enter and you'll see that it comes up with a series of directional arrows that show you the direction of travel for increasing stationing so in this case if I were to select the way it is right now by default it's going to start with the lower station down at the bottom right and then work to the left with increasing and higher stationing uh, in my case I think I would just like to reverse that so I'm just going to type in R and you won't see that until this step is done but it will reverse the direction so that it starts with smaller stationing on the left and then as it creates as it travels to the right it'll create uh, higher stations so what will open up now is the create alignments from objects dialog box and let's just go through some of this you can change a lot of this later once it's done and we'll show you how to do that in future videos but first thing is name so what, by default it's set up it's going to put in the word alignment space a dash of space and then whatever the next available number is for an alignment in this case it's my first alignment so it should be the number one and you can select that by default that's fine in this case I am calling it Maple Street so I'm just going to edit that and type in Maple under the type you can select center line offset curb return and rail uh, I'm obviously I'm working in AutoCAD Civil 3D 2013 older versions you might not have the ability to choose rail so center line is fine the default one for me description we can put in maple street 
proposed, but this is a good way to do a little documentation, some project documentation as to what, what you're doing here. Starting station. So you can select the default of 0 plus 0, 0, and then obviously if that's good with you, you can live with that. If you need to change it again, you can change it later. But in this case, let's say I want to make it station 153 plus 0, 0. So that's 15,300. So I type that in, and that just happens to come from a plan I was looking at recently, so it's stuck in my mind. You can select a site that it's on or none and if it's in a site then it will uh, update and interact with other AutoCAD Civil 3D objects which is great if you want that to happen but uh, if you think you'd be editing editing it and you don't want it to interact with other AutoCAD Civil 3D objects then choose a site of none you can change the proposed alignment style and again depending on what your settings are uh, for existing styles that you've set up in your drawing, you can pick from one of them. Proposed is fine. You'll notice here that under the alignment layer name that it shows you how that's going to be named. You can change that by hitting the button to the right. The alignment label set applies some labeling to this alignment. Again, those are what come from your default set up what you've already created for label alignment label sets I'm going to leave all labels if you just had lines and no curves and you wanted to add the curves and they're all the same radiuses then you can select that and then type in with whatever radius you would like to add in between each segment in this case it doesn't really matter I've already created the curves but I'll check that off and then the last one's really important, the erase existing entity. So those lines and curves will be erased once it creates the new alignment. And if you deselect that, you'll still have those lines right underneath the alignment. So that's not really good drawing practice because uh, it's unnecessary and you create uh, lines that are there, but you won't maybe see them and then you might select the wrong thing later. So just a, a, as a cleanup method, um, I leave the default erase existing entities. However, if that line work that you cr first created, you, you might want to use or edit that later, then certainly you can copy that and move it off to the side or W block it to its own drawing so that you have it available for you. And then you can erase it in this drawing and not worry about losing it. You'll have that set somewhere else. And then I won't go over this right now, but you can see I've been working on the general tab there's a design criteria tab and uh, more engineering or oriented but you can make some edits there to suit your needs so just go and hit OK and then let's just zoom in and you can see if you remember before the stationing was increasing from right to left but I typed in R for reverse and now it's starting at Again, not that station 0 plus 0, 0 that came up by default, but the new station that I typed in, 153 plus 0, 0. And it's increasing, getting higher stationing as we move to the right. It's added a tick mark at the, in my case I'm working in Imperial at the 50 foot station, and a tick mark and the label for the even stations at every 100 feet. And then it's also put in some symbology for where the PCs and PTs are and other major geometry points, plus added the labels for that. And we'll just go around so you can see other PCs and PTs. And then at the end, it's also labeled the endpoint of the alignment it's station um, also so pretty nice the way you depending on how you have your labeling set up um, you can apply different labeling but that's a pretty quick way of taking lines and curves and then quickly turning them into an alignment and labeling it all at once obviously you don't have to label it you could have turned that off and then label apply labels later but uh, 
just wanted to show you how to do that from beginning to end. So this has been Eric Colburn with your AutoCAD Civil 3D for Land Surveyors video showing you how to create an alignment from objects in AutoCAD Civil 3D. If you like this video and you like to see more, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you're looking for additional land surveying and Civil 3D information, you can visit uh, my website, ericcolburn.com. Thank you. Work smarter and be brilliant.